What's going on my friends? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So a new celebration is finally upon us. Dokkan's about to be lit again. So why don't we quickly go over the news together and see what good stuff they have in store for us. So first things first, we have this trick or treat Halloween campaign. I freaking love it if you guys don't know. Halloween just so happens to be my favorite holiday of the year. So I'm totally, totally down for this. So let's see what this is all about. All right, trick or treat Halloween campaign, recruit Super Saiyan Gotenks and Ghost in the event. So a new free to play Halloween themed Gotenks card. I love it. I've been asking for this for a long time because some other games I play like Leech Brave Souls does a lot of seasonal characters, right? Characters that are, you know, in the theme of whatever holiday you're celebrating. And we finally got this guy, so I'm really happy about that. Can't wait to get him. Trick or treat Halloween campaign, a total of 20 celebrating events are here. New uh, special event, Ghostly Prank, will be available during the event period. Sounds good. Jiren and Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta in a whole new form will also appear in the Dokkan Festival. So, as I was hoping for, Jiren will be on the SSBE Vegeta banner. And of course, so will SSBE Vegeta, which I'm sure a lot more people are excited about. But me personally, I don't have Jiren. I never pulled him in the two or three times he was back on Global. So, I'm very happy about this. Can't wait to summon on the banner. Of course, you guys know your boy Tiger is going to be going in and going with at least like somewhere between 500 to 1,000 stones. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided, but I will be doing a good amount of stones for this banner unless I get really lucky and I pull both Jiren and SSB Vegeta early. Then maybe I'll stop there. But otherwise, we're going in, guys. We're going in for sure. Excited about that. Challenge the new Dokkan event, the Invincible Strongest of the... Is that what it's called? The Invincible Strongest of the Strong to Dokken Awaken Jiren. Wow, um, that's that's quite some name. All right. In addition, Frieza's legendary challenge. Ooh! Oh, I did not see this coming. I didn't. Whoa! Frieza's legendary challenge campaign and the 23rd World Tournament will be available. Okay, excited about the World, Tur World Tournament. That's cool. I will be streaming that, but. I did not I, I did not foresee that they would release the Frieza legendary campaign. That's awesome guys. Okay, if you guys don't know about these, if you're a little bit new, basically these legendary campaigns are for uh, the LRs that are in the game, the free-to-play LRs, and you get a certain, um, it's basically certain prizes and rewards for getting to, to level 150, getting to LR status, getting into SA20, all those things. And uh, if you guys haven't completed your Frieza yet or haven't started on it, you know, it, it's okay because it, it, this campaign is going to be here. We're going to get a ton of prizes for fully awakening the LR Frieza, getting him done, getting him rainbowed. Um, in terms of prizes, it's going to be a lot of stones, like somewhere around 50 stones, enough orbs to rainbow a STR unit, enough Kai's to SA20 him, or at least maybe 10 Kai's, uh, 10 or 20 Kai's, I don't remember, but a lot of Kai's and uh, a lot of other good stuff as well. So this is going to be really, really good. Very excited for this. I can't wait to get my LR Frieza done now. And of course, if you guys are curious about which team to run, just take um, Namek Saga. Namek Saga is the best team to run his event for sure, so just go with that, you'll be good to go. And if you haven't ground grinded out your um, Ginyu Force team, what are you doing? Just go do it now. Like, <laughs> you're slacking for sure, but you know what, it's not too late, just get it done. Use them for the LR Frieza campaign, you'll be good to go. Okay, number one, trick or treat Halloween login bonus. Log in every day to get Dragon Stones and awesome items. Awesome. I, I love I, I love awesome items and I love Dragonstone, so I'll take that. Number two, trick or treat Halloween special missions. So missions for stones, uh, medals, you know, Hercule statues, all those things. Number three, new special event, ghostly prank recruit. Okay, so this is just gonna be the event that allows you to recruit the new uh, go tanks. So I'm sure it's 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 awesome. Number four, trick or treat Majin Buu's candy mischief. So this is the old Halloween event that allows you to get um, the candy Vegito, number one, and number two, the Bura cookies, which are really cool nuking items that are just fun to play with. So if you guys want some of those, then do this event for sure. And also you get, I believe, some stones and Kai's for completing this uh, event a certain number of times. I think same thing with this one too, probably. Ghostly Prank one, I'm sure you get uh, a set number of like stones and also Kai's and some other good items for completing it, a, completing it a certain amount of times. Number five is the legendary challenge campaign for LR Frieza. Love it. Talked them enough about it, so we're gonna move right along. Number six, Dragon Stones on sale. Okay, let's see what these Dragon Stone sales are. Not the greatest, okay. <laughs> Only two sales. 
32 stones for over 50% only once as usual and 91 stones over 20% discount five times. So um, I really wish, I really, really wish they did better discounts for this one because I know there are so many people that are excited about the SSP Vegeta or maybe that's why they, they did it like this, right? Maybe because they knew that people would be summoning anyways, people would buy stones anyways. They're like, we don't have to give you good deals. Like you're gonna buy them anyways. So might as well make more money. Uh, classic Bandai, okay. Number seven, Dokkan Festival. It's gonna start on Thursday at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time, PM Pacific Standard Time, which will be in the morning for me if you're Eastern Standard Time, or you know if you're, if you're like me and you're on Eastern Standard Time or another time zone, it could be on the 26th, or it could be a little bit earlier. It really depends, right? But um, for me personally, it's gonna be on the 26th of Friday. So you guys should expect a summoning video on Friday in two days. Get excited, there's the Jiren, there's the SSB Vegeta, freaking awesome. This is the SSB Vegeta Dokkan event. This is the Jiren Dokkan event, strongest of the strong. The invincible strongest of the strong. <laughs> I can't get over that name. Okay, uh, number 10, Universe Survival Saga Final Battle of the Tournament of Power event is back. Interesting, because it was literally just here, like really recently. But anyways, I'm okay with that. Super Battle Road is available daily between Thursday and Thursday. Uh, wow, okay, so for almost a month, almost a month, we will get Super Battle Road every single day, so you guys can go challenge those and beat the ones that you haven't beaten yet. Okay, we have an Extreme Z Dokkan Festival, interesting. Um, I was like, no, because I was like, is there going to be a new uh, Extreme Z battle coming up? But no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be the old Extreme Z Dokkan Festival for the SSJ3 Goku. So it's going to be SSJ3 Goku, there's going to be Tech. Uh, Golden Frieza, and there's something else in there. I don't know, SSJ4 Vegeta maybe, but I don't remember. I, I, you know, don't don't take my word for it. I don't remember, but it's gonna be another featured unit as well. In addition, Extreme Z Dokkan Festival tickets, ticket summons that require Extreme Z Dokkan Fest ticket four to perform summons will be available during that time. So uh, these tickets, I, I used to think that they were available through some missions. I because I, I, I don't know why. I just thought they, I, like I just thought I remembered that they gave us free tickets, but it seems like it's only available through Pilaf's Trove. So. Um, don't buy them. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay. Number 13, Extreme Z Battle. Okay, so SSJ3 Goku Extreme Z Battle event is back. So if you guys haven't finished him yet, then, you know, go for it, man. He's an absolute monster. One of my favorite units in this game. Number 14, Extreme Z Challenge. Uh, Extreme Z Battle Challenge Pack Up for Sales is the one with, like, some Grand Kai, some, like, stone. Maybe stones? Maybe not stones. I don't know. And, of course, the Extreme Z Dokkan Fest tickets for this banner over here. But, like I said, not really worth it. You can buy it if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, number 15 is the Genius Balma's Battle Prep. It's always here before a world tournament because it allows us to get some of the uh, support items that are really, really key to succeeding in a uh, world tournament. And I can't wait for this world tournament, guys, because you guys know, as you guys probably know, I pulled LR Cell recently, and he is like one of the best units you can use in um, world tournament because this guy gets so much key. And also attack and defense from the number from like six enemies because like the more enemies there are, the more key and attack and defense he gets. So, anyways, he's gonna be a monster. Can't wait to use him. Number sixteen, Rising Dragon Carnival. Um, some people have predicted that this one is actually gonna be bringing LR Bardock to global. I'm not really sure. I kind of hope it's not because, um, you know, because. Uh, LR Bardock was featured on JP, right? So I would prefer if, if they were gonna bring LR Bardock to global now uh, That they put him on a featured banner so that he has a higher rate to be pulled, right? But if not, I mean, what can you do? This is it's, it's gonna be a fine banner to, to chase LRs on but I, I would prefer if they Put also made a separate banner for LR Bardock where he's featured for the first time at least when he's on global But anyways, I mean whatever happens whatever, whatever happens happens. I might summon on it. I might not I'm still thinking about it, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay with the, my LRs recently like <laughs> I mean I haven't pulled like multiple LRs. I pulled one LR, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm not asking for too much, so I don't know if I'm necessarily in the mood to chase another LR right now. Anyways, number 17, Vegeta the Indomitable uh, Warrior. This is the event that uh, will allow you to get medals for the STR Vegeta and Bulma. So if you guys have pulled that one and don't have the medals to awaken it, now's your chance. Also, there's gonna be the free-to-play AGL Vegeta as well. Um, that counters and he's he's pretty decent number 18 renewal renewal of uh, lone warriors last battle Ooh, Renewal, okay, does that mean that they're gonna reset the event? I feel like that's what that's what it means, right? Renewal because if you go back up here, it doesn't say renewal does it? 
Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say renewal. It just says this event's gonna come back. So maybe this one's gonna be reset, which means we'll get some stones for clearing it again. I don't remember how many stones that we like we got before, but um, sounds promising, man. Sounds good. Okay, I'm down for that. <laughs> it says it says renewal, so I assume that means that we're gonna get to re-clear the event again. Okay, number 19, the 23rd World Tournament is here. I don't know what the prizes are. I don't know any information about it, but I, I love it, man. I'll be streaming it, guys. Um, so keep, keep an eye out for some long ass streams. We're just gonna be grinding the World Tournament straight for like four hours or something like that. I don't know. I, it's just off the top of my head right now. I'm just thinking about it. I haven't really confirmed anything, haven't really decided on anything, but there will be streams. There will definitely be World Tournament streams. Number 20, success rate of training of written wait six twenty success rates in training doubled okay cool let's okay whatever <laughs> doesn't matter um login bonuses just gonna take a quick peek over here i don't think there's anything that we you know haven't really um or anything that's gonna be a big surprise it's gonna be one stone a day and then on halloween eve it's gonna be three dragon stones and on halloween we're gonna get one candy cane i believe of each type it shows three here but i'm, I'm sure it means each type and ooh, oh also on the 30th there's gonna be two uh, of, of all types of candy cane okay great awesome awesome okay so lots of candy canes. These are the best training items in the game. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the best training items in the game. They give like one million, yeah, one million experience. So th those are great to have. But other than that, it's gonna be one one stone every single day. Um, well, I, I was hoping that the first day login bonus, like today, first day login would be like 10 stones or 15 stones because they do that sometimes. They give a big bonus in the beginning, but I guess not. I guess not. So uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's whatever. One stone a day. Um, and this one is just the missions. So what kind of missions can we expect? Okay, so recruit the Super Saiyan Goten, Gotenks and Trunks. I mean, to Goten, <laughs> Gotenks and Ghost, okay. And we got some missions to give us two stones, three stones, two stones, three stones. So that's, why don't we do a little tally of all the stones we're getting? So okay, there's one stone here, there's three stones here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven stones right there from the missions. And then from daily login, it's gonna be uh 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 okay 31 stones they okay in total i'm tallying right now 31 stones there and the freezer campaign we're supposed to get 50 stones roughly so let's say 81 stones from there uh two stones from here that's 83 two stones from there that's 85 um, of course, you guys will get stones. You haven't cleared some of the other missions that are coming, like the like the story missions and things like that that are coming back, like this one or this one. Maybe everyone will get stones for that one because, like I said, it's renewal, right? Um, okay, so I mean, oh, and then there's like this this new event. Um, this is a very rough tally. Like, I'm not gonna give you guys a specific number, but I'm gonna say somewhere between like 80 to 100 stones that we'll get to that are free to play for this specific event, including. Oh, there's also a world tournament. So world tournament is like 40 stones. So like 120 stones, maybe 120 to 130 free to play stones during this event period. I'm not 100% sure, but that sounds about right in my mind because world tournament is like 40, and there's like 50 from the campaign, and the rest are from logins and daily missions, and uh, or not daily missions, but like like just missions in general and things like that so yeah that's it guys <laughs> okay long rambling um thing you guys know how, how i get sometimes i just like get, get in my thoughts and just can't stop talking but anyways guys those are the things you can expect to look forward to some really good stuff in there man lr freezer campaign is a great surprise the ssd vegeta banner looks like it's gonna be great um and the Halloween stuff, I'm totally down for. Like I said, I love Halloween. That's all the news, though. I'm excited for the celebration. I'm glad that there's something else to do in Dokkan uh, again or, or very soon in the near future. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are hyped as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you're the most excited about out of all these things we just talked about. And uh, that's it, guys. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.